Hey, what's up you guys, Tom here, and today I'm bringing you a gameplay from one of my favorite Flash games. It's called Warfare 1944. But it's made by one of my favorite uh, Flash game developers. They're called Con Artist. They made this game, uh, another uh, Warfare game from World War One. They also made Last Stand and Last Stand 2, two of my favorite uh, zombie games. And Okay, so more about this gameplay. I'm playing on Beach Landing, which is actually also one of my favorite maps in this entire game. I like the how the germ how you can actually feel the defensive how the Germans are playing more as uh, defense and the American side is playing more as offense. Well, in this particular game, I'm playing as the Germans, and I set it so that I have all units available. Start off with 1,500 resource points, and with no support, and I'm playing it on hardened. So, as you can see, my middle uh, little section has already been just chewed up and it's gone. Okay, as you can see, I my second anti-tank gun dude uh, person has already destroyed their tank, so that was their finest asset, so now without their finest asset, they are poop, and as you can see here, poop is getting chewed up. It's like two rolls, one cup out there. I shouldn't have said that. And, and okay. So as you can see, we are coming in again. Uh, they, at this point, I would have been worried if they still had a tank because um, they pretty much already control the large majority of this map and I was pretty much screwed with when they had their tank. But now that they don't have the tank, I have my guys and my guys are coming in pretty nicely here. Um, my... As you can see in the top, they already have some one squad going on my anti-personnel or my machine gun, or as the cool kids call it these days, or whatever. Okay. But so we already have the top covered. Um, I'm moving in, reclaiming lawn, and all right. So I'm setting up my. At this point, like my only strategy was to like set up a defensive bar yard on the top and on the bottom, uh, on the two trenches, just to have two uh, machine gun dudes in there. And I already have two squads of riflemen uh, moving in on what I can't tell, but I think it's a couple squads of their guys, but I'm not really too worried about that. They're just going out there to like buy a little bit of time for me to build up my defenses here. So I built that up, not worried about that squad, you know, my anti-personnel dude, as I like to call him. And just for reinforcement, just to reinforce them, I'm sending in another squad of riflemen. So I, so the tables have turned entirely at this point. I basically control the majority of this map. The AI is losing, and the one thing that I've like learned after playing this game is when you play with the AI and you give them a lot of points, the first thing they buy is a tank, and then they buy an officer, and then they just by either riflemen or um, the uh, assault squad, or the you know like the light machine guns, the assault rifles, which I'm trying to little trying to put out there. Yeah. So what you know is when they go out, and so what you know when you're playing against the AI when he has a lot of points is you have to be prepared to uh, spend a lot of your points on. Uh, anti-tank on the anti-tank unit all right so and once you know that you know it's easy after that once you destroy his tank then he just pretty much plays easy at that point it's an easy game so yeah um, it's nearing like the end of this I'm already clearly winning just to kind of reinforce my uh, awesomeness in this virtual realm I mean, real world yeah, so just to reinforce my winningness at this point in this game, uh, I'm sending in a tank, which is pretty much game over for him, because he's not going to be able to buy a tank at this point, and when I control this much of the map. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm just sending in uh, a lot of squads to just support the tank, but once I get my tank onto, his, onto the other side of the map, on his side, uh, I'll actually be able to control the entire map, and it'll be game over for the AI. And, yeah, so it's pretty much smooth sailing. They already were able to take out the main gun on my tank. And that was pretty much the biggest worry for me. And, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, no, still alive. 
two grenades and I think just a little bit of life left in that tank. Um, that uh, machine gun was, I can already tell he was pretty much screwed. Like he was, gonna, he was going to be able to make it very long after that. So I'm not sure if you saw, but I sent in a replacement for him. And yeah, so for the AI, it's pretty much game over. As you can see here, there's not much he can do to basically make me lose. I have a squad of, I think those are riflemen, or moving in behind my tank, and yes, I win. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, the, the best way you can like guarantee victory is to uh, just know that they're, that the AI is going to send in a tank and uh, an officer. So, thanks for watching.